This is a beautiful Christmas vignette, and you know, um, as you're setting up for the holidays and looking for different things to do, you know, consider small side tables besides, you know, your Christmas tree or mantles, the typical places that you would set things up. You know, other ideas like this are really great, and it's a fun place to tuck all those extra little things that you might have in your basement or attic. Um, I know, Dad, that you set this up. I just asked Mom what the story was with it, but I love how you put it together and, you know, what was your whole thought? You know what I find thing? so interesting about it that anybody can do? Mm -hmm. These are items that we've collected over the years, so you can really use mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of items that you can find at sales, at, at, at auctions, uh, uh, weekend sales mm -hmm. that you might have in your local uh, areas where you live and everything else, and that's basically what we've kind of done, and then it's just use your imagination, start piling the stuff on and uh, I usually try and overdo it and then I kind of select what I want and get a little balance to it and everything else and uh, don't always use everything that I put there but I just think it's a, a fun way to show off a few things that you have over the holidays. My grandchildren, Tracy's children, my, my other daughter and son's children, they just enjoy this stuff so much too that it's a thing of curiosity to them so it's a pleasure to do it and uh, it's, it's half the fun of the holidays. And there's some neat little things in here, like, you know, these little trees you can find at sort of craft stores and that kind of thing. Absolutely. Are so pretty. But then also look at the highs and lows in here. Again, I think it's so pretty that they've mixed in, um, you know, wonderful English antiques. And then, you know, these are darling little camels. Those are my grandmother's. And then this sweet, um, you know, paper nativity um, set is so fun and unusual mixed into it. But then on top of it, in the back here, I think it's fun to see, you know, this beautiful cake stand here with the antique, um, you know, the antique porcelain on it and the beautiful little book. And I even love that they have a cloche tucked um, back in here with a little scene under it. And, you know, the fun thing about creating vignettes like this is, you know, for you or your family or a company that might be coming over the holidays, like my dad said, the interesting thing is you're adding all these layers and then it sort of becomes a discovery for anyone who happens upon it, you know, they, and they want to see all the little layers and things and it's even great, always consider some kind of light source anytime you're creating a vignette such as, you know, um, a, a pretty sconce or a lamp or some, you know, some little candles or something that adds just a little sparkle or a little glimmer if you want to put a little Christmas light behind it but it's just, you know, a great layer. So, Hopefully this will inspire, you know, a little vignette in your home this holiday.